Welcome to our guide on the clinical trials process. Ever wondered how groundbreaking treatments and therapies make their way from the lab to the people who need them? Let's take a closer look at how clinical trials work, how you can get participate, and why they matter. So, what exactly is a clinical trial? Simply put, it's a carefully planned research study where new treatments, medications, or therapeutic approaches are tested on real people. These trials can last from just a few weeks to several years, depending on the study. How do clinical trials work? Clinical trials are the gold standard of research. They are the best way to learn how different people respond to medications, treatments, or therapeutic approaches. All treatments for HIV AIDS, hepatitis, TB, and other infectious diseases and their related conditions must be tested through a series of clinical trials before they can be approved. These clinical trials provide critical information about the safety of treatments and if they work to help people living with these conditions live longer, healthier lives. All clinical trials are subject to extensive review. Detailed study plans, also known as the study protocols, are reviewed extensively by research experts and ethicists. Each protocol also has a community representative on it. In addition, protocols are reviewed by community advisory boards, CABs, before they are finalized. Each clinical trial is also reviewed by an Institutional Review Board, IRE, a diverse group of experts that must approve the trial. The IRB also reviews ongoing clinical trial operations, periodically, to ensure that the study is being conducted properly, that any risks related to participating are as low as possible, and that any risks are outweighed by the potential benefits of the study. To ensure reliable results, clinical trials follow precise research protocols. The protocol describes every aspect of a research study, including the study timeline and processes, and what question or question or questions the study hopes to answer. The clinical trial process generally follows four key phases. A study can be either a phase one, two, three, or four trial, depending on where the treatment being studied is in its development. Phase one trials provide a study medication to a small group of people, generally less than 100, to measure its safety. Phase two trials provide a study medication to larger groups of people, generally between 100 and 300, to see if it works and to further evaluate its safety. These studies may also evaluate the best dose of the medication. Phase three trials provide a study medication to very large groups of people, ranging from several hundred to several thousand, to better understand if the drug works. These trials often compare the study medication to an existing treatment. The results of these trials are submitted to regulatory authorities in the hopes of getting them approved for use. Phase four trials provide additional information about the study medication after it has been approved and is available for use. These studies provide additional information about side effects and the treatment's best use. Who sponsors clinical trials? Clinical trials are developed by protocol team members and supported by industry partners, including pharmaceutical companies, including the National Institutes of Health, National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Division of AIDS. If you're considering participating, you'll go through a process called informed consent. This means you'll fully understand the study, including any potential risks and benefits, before agreeing to join. Can anyone participate in a clinical trial? Different clinical trials have different requirements or criteria for their participants. Each study's protocol describes those criteria. When selecting participants, researchers may consider a number of factors, which can include the participant's age, sex, health status, things like your CD4 or T cell count, HIV viral load, past medical or medication history, pregnancy status, and willingness and ability to follow the trials, instructions, and schedules. Benefits of participating in clinical trials. Study participants may be among the first people to receive a new experimental medication. Other benefits include receiving healthcare related to the research study by physicians and study nurses with extensive experience treating your specific condition and helping others by adding to what we know about your condition. The medications, clinic visits, evaluations, and laboratory tests required by the research study will usually be provided to participants free of charge. Medical information obtained during the clinical trial can be shared with your own healthcare provider. What are the potential risks of participating in a clinical trial? A study medication may not be helpful to you or might cause harm, including side effects. 
Anyone considering participating in a clinical trial will receive full information on possible side effects from the study staff and in the study consent form. Participants may not be able to continue with their current treatments while in the study and may not be able to continue receiving the tested drug after the study ends. What questions should you ask about the trial? Anyone interested in participating in a clinical trial should feel free to ask any and all questions they have about the study and to have all answers explained to them until they feel comfortable with the information. Questions that a potential participant might ask include, what is the purpose of the clinical trial? What will I need to do to join the clinical trial? Are there already approved treatments available for my medical condition? How do the treatments used in this study compare with any available treatments? Will I know what drug I am taking in the study? How often will I need to come to appointments, use study medications, and have medical tests? What side effects might I experience as I participate? What should I do if I experience side effects, feel uncomfortable, or have questions during the clinical trial? How will my confidentiality be protected? What kind of long-term follow-up care will be provided as part of the clinical trial? Will there be any costs involved in participating? Interested in joining a trial? Check out the link in the description of this video for updated list of open studies and find a location near you. If you're eligible, you'll start with a screening visit to ensure you meet the study criteria. Throughout the trial, you'll have regular check-ins, lab tests, and support from dedicated team. Plus, your primary care physician will stay in the loop, ensuring your overall care is seamless. Clinical trials are a crucial step in advancing medical science. By participating, you're not just helping yourself, you're contributing to a future of better health for everyone. Want to learn more? Visit the website link in the description of this video for the latest news on open trials and how you can make a difference. Your journey in clinical research could start today. Subscribe for more health awareness contents.